Name and surname. Alan Kruger. What's your idea of perfect happiness? My idea of perfect happiness is a day where I have good thoughts, a day where I spend time with friends and family, a day when I exercise and have a good meal. <laughs> good. What is the trait you most deplore in yourself? Um, sometimes I can be a little bit short with people, so I should be more patient. <laughs> what do you consider the most overrated virtue? You know, that's hard to say. I think virtues are virtues for a reason. So, uh, off the top of my head, I really can't choose a, a virtue that's the most overrated. What do you most value in your friends? Um, I value that uh, they care about me, that they support me, um, and I value that they're interesting, that I learn things from them. What is the most important skill to be a good economist? You know, it differs for different kinds of economists. I think if there were just one skill, it's analytical ability the ability to think through a problem and be detached from it and think analytically about the problem. What would you say to encourage a student to choose economics as a major? Well, I think economics is a great field of study. I think economics is a way of thinking about the world. Even if someone doesn't want to become an economist, I think being an economics major can help them to make better decisions throughout their life. Economics is an extremely powerful framework both individually for thinking about decisions and for thinking about society. What's your country of origin? I'm from the United States of America. What is the main economic problem of your country? I'll give you two main economic problems. Our main short-run problem is high long-term unemployment. Over a third of the unemployed have been out of work for more than half a year. Before the Great Recession, that figure never exceeded 22%. So uh, we have a, a new cyclical problem, which is a result of the Great Recession, which Europe has had for a long time. Uh, our second main problem, which is a longer term problem, it's going to take more time to address, is rising inequality. We've had a tremendous polarization in our society. And what do you suggest to fix these problems? Well, I think the solutions uh, are complicated, and I think they uh, need to be addressed in many different ways. So for long term unemployment, uh, I've favored a tax credit for workers who have exhausted unemployment insurance benefits. I favored doing more infrastructure investment. Uh, I favored improving our training system um, and uh, also providing more counseling, job search assistance to the unemployed. For inequality, I think we need both a short term and a long term approach. In the short term, policies like raising the minimum wage or expanding access to collective bargaining, I think. Uh, can be helpful. Uh, in the long term, I think we need to focus on our most distressed communities, the areas like Cleveland or Detroit, where they need uh, multiple uh, interventions to help strengthen them. But there's no reason why we can't take cities like Cleveland and make them as successful as cities like Chicago. Great. And what is the main problem of your country's ruling class? You know, in America, we don't think of ourselves as having a, a ruling class. We, we rebelled against uh, a monarchy. But I would say in terms of governance, we do have a problem. And uh, right now, our political system is not working particularly well. Uh, we have gridlock in Washington. We have too much partisanship. Uh, we have uh, policies in place that no one wants, but we can't seem to get out of, like the automatic budget cuts that took place last year. And what is the main problem of Europe's governance? Uh, well, I think in some respects Europe has a similar set of problems. The leadership does not seem fully in touch with the will of the people. I think we saw uh, evidence of that in the European elections last week. Uh, and if you look at the set of policies that are being implemented, they seem to be uh, uh, counterproductive. Uh, this, the severe austerity that's affected uh, the South uh, I think has caused a lot of hardship without very much economic progress. Right. And what do you think of Quattrogatti.info? Well, from what I know, I've been impressed. Uh, I think it could be a great tool for explaining economics to more people. And fundamentally, uh, I think people get the kind of government that uh, they look for. And if people are better informed, I think they'll get a better government. Thank you very much. My pleasure.